It's great to be with you for another daily devotion. And I'm out here this evening in one of our most west gardens on the church property. And this, which I've talked about this tree before, this is like my favorite tree. Well, I, I would say it's in my top five of the trees on the property. I love this tree and it's a lace leaf Japanese maple. You don't see very many of them here in Iowa. It's really rare and they have to be kind of in a protected area. This really isn't the best area for it, but I really kind of wanted people to come out the doors here or go in here and see this tree. Now it's right on, really on the border of climate zones. And so it gets a little bit too cold here. So every winter I spray it with like a wax coating to prevent the branches from drying out in a cold, dry wind. So we do that to protect it and help it get through the winter. And even now you can see that it's lost a, a few of the tips of the branches, but they'll come back. Overall, the tree's doing great. But last week, as you know, remember, it got really cold on several nights. There were two or three nights in which the, the temperature got down to really frost levels. So for those three nights, Leanne and I came out here in our vehicle, packed full of sheets and blankets, and we tucked a couple trees in. And this is one of them. Like we put several blankets and sheets over it, and then we, we close pinned them right to some of the branches to try to keep everything in place. And for the most part, I think it worked. You might ask yourself, well, John, why are you doing that? Is that in your pastoral description? Did you learn that in seminary? No, and it's not in my description. Why do I do it? I really love this tree. I love to look at it. And it brings joy to my heart. And the beautiful flowers around here. You, you know, it, it really is very similar to a verse that I shared on Sunday morning. And that, were, that verse was that, that God, who, who takes care of all the birds. He says, look at the birds of the air. Don't, don't I take care of them? Are you not more valuable than one of these little sparrows? Aren't you more valuable? Don't I take care of them? Then he says, you know, look at all the lilies of the field and all of the plants and the flowers. When have you ever seen anyone dressed like that? Look at all of this around me. When have you ever seen anyone take care of them? I take care of all of that. Will I not take care of you? That's what I want to share with you tonight, is what God has promised to us is that He cares about us and cares for us. The reason that I cared for this tree is because I really love this tree. So I'm going to try to do some extra things. I'll come out here at night, put the blankets on, tuck it in for the night, tell a little bedtime tree story, and then hopefully it makes it through the, the night, the cold. We'll spray it with wax. We'll protect it because we care. God says, you know, you're so much more valuable. John, if you would care for a tree, understand how much I care for you because I care for all the trees, not just this one, all of them. Think how much I want to care for you. So today, rest in that thought of how valuable you and I are to God, that he has promised to care for us. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for your love and we thank you for your care. You are with us and you love us. We care for a lot of different things, but this is a reminder that you care for so much more and you care for us and you will be there in our life to care for us. We thank you for it. Bless everyone today. Remind us of your constant care and your presence. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.